And speaking of being an all-star, why does it say I'm a two-time all-star if this is my rookie year? 2K. It's the little shit. And talk about the All-Star game, it should be the most relaxed game I ever played. Take my teammate grade away. Could y'all even imagine not having that big ass like teammate grade in the corner? But anyways, give me bonuses like three oops, give me an extra 2,000 VC. Make a half court shot bonus, fun shit. And at the end of the game, give me times two badge progression, times two my points, times two VC. Times two everything. It ain't that hard. Speaking of hard, nigga, have y'all tried winning the three point contest? Probably the hardest thing to do in the game. You don't want to know how many times I done played this motherfucker. Cause they switch your shot timing on each spot you go to. Then you win the hoe and you don't even get no type of VC. Nothing, nigga. Just a trophy I can't even look at. The second hardest thing to do is to get a stop on this defensive drill, nigga. You can play perfect defense. Trust me. Them niggas gonna make it. Then they get in the game and suck dick. The third hardest thing to do is get these damn bars right the first go around. This low key might be the hardest, but why does my non rapping ass my player go through the whole verse if I fed up on one bar? And nigga, these bars the are fucking trash. The bag, hey, y'all got J. Cole kick, in this bitch. On a and still got no bars, my nigga. It sound like hoodie, well. Nigga, no, it don't. This is the fifth time you've done this. And when I'm done with the conversation and I hold A to MP skip it, I wanna skip the whole motherfucking scene. You think I give a MP what these niggas talk about? I just wanna hoop. <sighs> Which brings me to the next point my career what happened i used to want to win a championship i used to want to win mvp i used to give a fuck about the story what happened and i should never ever 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 not be able to play a mic player game because i have to do a quest ever the only thing my player serves for me is a badge grinder i get my little 34 games played in the regular season and my 16 in the playoffs to get gym rat and i get the fuck on the games need to mean more i used to love showing out in key games in 2k11 Getting times two for everything, man. There's nothing like a little rivalry to get the juices flowing. Tonight's key game has you playing one of your biggest enemies, so be prepared for a tough game. This isn't just any regular game. The fans demand a victory tonight. Used to seem like a nigga I had to hoop. I used to love meeting the game goals each game. There is no incentive or want to actually care about my player games. Make Hall of Fame difficulty much harder. I like competitive games, whether offline or online. It's what makes you better. Remember in 2K11? Well, yeah, I don't remember 2K11. Y'all was too young. But if you wasn't hooping, they'll send your whack ass to the D League, nigga. There's times when I think 2K just has some lazy writers. Like, not to be disrespectful, it just seems like lazy writing sometimes. Why do I have to follow the storyline? If I don't pass the objective, let me get traded or lose minutes because I don't get the teammate grade requirement and vice versa. If I'm cooking Shep in the summer league. All this 18th pick versus 19th pick beef is dead, my nigga. Make the game matter when I play against Shep's team. It seems like y'all only give a f about this corny ass classic that he don't even guard us in. But when it really counts, y'all don't even let us know when we playing Shep. I don't know which, nick which team this nigga's on. You just end up seeing that ugly ass nigga. And give me something for winning the championship. Make it a big deal, cause 15,000 MVP points ain't cutting it. And when our rookie contract is up, let's negotiate for the bag, nigga. Let me sign a 5,000 VC a game contract. Cause I'm the face of the league, like y'all make it seem. Last thing about my career. Why don't y'all let us level up for the battle pass in my career? It's not like I'm not playing the game. It doesn't have to level up like online. But give me something, nigga. Private courts too. And let this bitch say something different. Bam. I just read, I just read about this. Um, they wanted to convey motion. You got it. No reason she should be saying the same exact thing back to back, my nigga. Again, lazy writing. Next up, we got a little rapid fire session. Hey, bruh, we still sitting here not being able to do anything. Let us switch our animations, badges, settings, and give us a rec number different than my player number. Rec number should be able to have all numbers, nigga. It don't make no damn sense. I can't switch my settings in the game. Imagine that you on Call of Duty and you accidentally turned off aim assist or messed up your button layout and had to wait a whole game to switch it back. It's the stupidest thing. Also, like, why we sitting here? Show some stats or something like who has the most points this season or see if you can beat the top person in most steals or most assists. Like put something there so we can, we can be competitive against each other online. Knowing like, damn, let me try to get 27 assists this game, bro. That nigga just beat my record last time when it was 22. Different shit. And wouldn't it be nice if you could actually get a report on the nigga you're about to guard in the wreck? Like y'all got it in my career. Honestly, you don't even have to do all that. Just show me his 2K card so I got a little something something about what he can and can't do. I don't need it because I lock shit up anyways, but I'm just saying it would be something different. Also, 
And this is just a little, I'm throwing this out there. What if you could sub out your my player? Let's say you can only do it one time and you had to do it at halftime. Let's say you got a Kevin Durant build and you usually play small forward and you playing the four. Like you're going against a real forward. You're going against Tim Duncan down there and shit. And you have a, another build that can guard bigs. So at halftime, let me switch. Let me switch to my other player. You're gonna get one a game. That, that'd be something different, bro. Cause in 2K11, you used to be able to switch out your my player and play with like Raymond Felton if the if you your team was the New York Knicks, nigga. Niggas don't know, y'all, but y'all don't know about 2K11, bro. Busting my ass with my Kyrie build. Let me get my lock on this nigga in the second half. That's like making an adjustment, bro, to try to win the game and shit. And bro, when you whooping on niggas ass so bad the whole team quit, show me my progression. Cause I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't trust y'all. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go one farther. If a whole team backs out, give me times two progression on everything. Unlike y'all times two tokens do. And I know I can't be too hard. So can y'all please put how much time I have left on my times two token in the corner while I play? You know, like Call of Duty does. So I know if I have enough time to get another game in times two. Also, if you the one backing out, bro, I mean, look at this. This is understandable. I'm not finna fucking win this game, nigga. And I don't want to play with a whole team of fucking AIs, nigga. So I'm finna back out. Why the fuck y'all gotta ban me for 30 minutes? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard, bro. You gonna make a nigga not play your game, bro. Make him get on another game because he wanna back out because he got a whole fucking team of AIs on his team, nigga. Come on, bro. And if you sell in 2K, they gotta be an indicator. Like if somebody gets five offensive three seconds in a row, he should be kicked, no questions asked. And if he wants to hold the ball and get five seconds on the inbound, here's a simple fix. When you call a timeout anytime on the inbound, switch the person passing the ball in. That'll work up until he calls all the timeouts. But then we can have a vote to kick option. Be under a C for a period of time. I don't know. Just stop f***ing selling, bitch ass niggas. So for Club 2K, why are the hours not actual club hours? Let that shit rock for like eight of them bitches. It should be every day late night. Like 8 p.m. to 5 a.m., bro. Nigga, we might as well call this f***ing. Club prison yard ball, my nigga. What the f is this? Ain't no fing way. There's a 2K generic black light shoe. Y'all realize the 2K generic looks fing ridiculous on my feet? <laughs> hey, man. Give us the damn ball playing around this shit. On the wreck, too. It's like y'all give them enough time to get the fing steal on the inbound. Actually, I lied earlier. The hardest thing in 2K to do is get an A plus teammate grade. Nigga, and it doesn't help that without doing anything wrong, your fing teammate grade goes down. I had to fight tooth and nail to get my fing A plus, nigga. And I ain't saying the times is off or y'all giving niggas extra time, but somebody need to take a look at that shot clock and that three second in the lane timer, nigga. And nigga, why every time though? My nigga, every time? For real though. Like every time a nigga load up, y'all gotta show me this shit. I get it, nigga. It's Puma Mania. Shit. Even when you think you're safe. Who did it? Please. Please come out and apologize for okaying this. Ain't no way a nigga sat there in y'all little meetings and said, let's disrupt the whole game mid shot. We don't give a to tell you somebody quit. Ain't no way y'all green lit that, bro.